Hi guys, I'm sorry it's been so long since we've done a video, but we finally got our first order in from Everyday Deals, and life has been busy for us, so we haven't had a chance until now to actually be able to show you guys what we got, but this is one of the 10 that we got from Everyday Deals, and this one is Raccoons, and let's see what it looks like here. I've already split the top because it's just easier to have it already split. And then, oh, there's another wrapper. More plastic. And this one is a 30 by 40. Oh, well, the, I guess I pulled everything loose, huh? That over there. And there's the drills and of course your kit with your little baggies and your pink goop and your pink pen. And here is our canvas. A little piece of plastic, not sure what that is. Let's see here. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Two little raccoons. Let's see how this bag looks. It's a good bag. That's a very good canvas. Thick canvas. And of course you have your size, which is 30 by 40. You have your item number, which is W. 260 and then you have your little picture here don't know how well you can see that because those little thumbnail pictures are super small and then of course you have your your symbols and you have 20 colors you don't have your uh, DMC numbers on this it's just the uh, how many colors you have and then of course your uh, your symbols, your basic. Now let's see here if we can pull this up and get a look here. Start from the bottom and go up. Let's see here what we got. It looks like a pretty clear drill field. And it's Horse tacky. That has some pretty colors in it too, it looks like. Awesome. Okay, let's put this back down over this if we can. Without fussing too much with the paper. <laughs> and then of course you have this upper part here. Oh, that's going to be cute. I think it looks good. Clear. Yeah, everything's going to very clear drill fill. And of course you have your double um uh, my mind just went blank. Uh, graphs, that's what I call them anyway, for your the number of colors and your symbols. And that is that. Let's make sure it's not buckling because we want to keep it as loose as possible so we can flatten this out. Because it's not too flat. Just take a ruler and just kind of smooth it out as best you can. I really just like these plastic covers, but it's workable. You can deal with it. Because when you start working, you can, you know, I know a lot of people use like parchment paper and um, 
different stuff to cover them. But if you can't afford all that, or if you just don't want to fool with all that, or you don't want to take a chance on messing your piece up, you can, when, you, when you're working on a section, you can always cut the plastic as well. And what, what, you know, whatever section you're working on, just keep your plastic and make sure on which side, because you have two sides. You have the side that's facing down against it, and that's the side you always want to make sure and put against your canvas if you're, if you're using it to recover it. Because if not, this side will stick to it, and it'll pull your glue loose. Uh, I know this from experience. But um, you cut, just like you would with the paper, you can cut it, and you can use your plastic again as well. It's a little bit aggravating, but hey, it works in a pinch. All right, and here are our drills. Let's see here. Hmm. We have some strays in there. Looks like a um, orange or coil. You have some of the black, some of the black that's escaped over into it. And the brown, what's that? That is three ten. No, that is two sixty. I was wrong. That's not black. It looks black. Does that look black? Mm -hmm. Huh. And you have your coil color, more pretty browns, and then you have some grayish colors and I guess that would be what like a, a tan or a, a, a lighter tan more shades of brown basically more brown you know, ooh look at those pretty, pretty dark burgundy red and orange brown oh those yellows are pretty that is a pretty color yellow now this has to be the three pins. No, that's more 260. I don't have any three pins with this. Huh, that's weird. And there's like a squash color. And like a purplish color there. All the drills look good besides the, you know, so we've got some in here too. We've got, we've got a blue stray in there. It looks like we've got a red in here. <laughs> but all in all, these look Oh, I do see a few that are going to be trash drills. Because they have like the little nubs on the sides of them and I generally don't use those because it causes everything to be out of whack. There's another stray. Some really pretty colors. I think it's going to be super cute. Now this one I'm going to have to be careful with because this has got some strays in there too. And this one I'm really going to have to be careful with because there's a lot of strays. I'm going to have to get out of there. But all in all, everything looks good. And I think this is going to be a really pretty one. And I will be having a video showing what I have been working on and what I have completed. Um, and the time because I have had I have managed to find time because this is like my wind down project that I love to do you know after a busy day sitting down and diamond painting to me is the most relaxing thing you know it's as satisfying as weird as that may sound but ones that diamond paint a lot you, know, you understand what I mean it's totally relaxing and you feel accomplished because you can see the progress of your work 
even if at first it doesn't look like it's going to amount to much, you know, within, you know, you work a couple of hours and, hey, you start to see the picture coming through. But that is it for our video right now. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And um, please, you know, keep an eye out and maybe even, you know, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know every time we bring out new videos. And as always, be true to you and be blessed. Bye.